He hates you, but you can ride him. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> um, there's no luxury for time. So hi guys, it's uh, Sunday. Uh, got back from Spain yesterday. Uh, great few days. We we just wanted a little bit of a break. Uh, before we'll kick off with everything that's going on. So we had a lovely, a lovely uh, few days out there. I think it's five, five days. Um, so we're all refreshed now, but come back and it's cold again. I think it was about 70 odd degrees while we were there. So it's lovely, uh, blue skies. Uh, but back now, back to, <laughs> to, to the cold weather again. So I'm in the sunroom, not much eating in this sunroom. Everyone's in the living room. So I've been asked to come out here. So doing the video out in the sunroom, but who cares? Look, I got my uh, flying jacket on. I don't know if anyone saw the the live that Tanya put on. It was only a couple of minutes live. Now, actually, Tola Malinos, Bella Madna, Fuengi Roller, and a bit further round is Marbella. I've just bought him his jacket. He wanted this jacket. He's always wanted one of these jackets. Flying jacket. It's a fly jacket since you watched Kevin Costner in Revenge. Oh, yeah. Yes, and you've always wanted one. So he went to look at it and he was bit. Oh, he went to put it back on the rail because it wasn't that cheap. And I went back and I bought it him because he's got a big birthday this year. So you've got an early birthday present. Guys, I absolutely love it. So do you want to turn it to me and see what I bought? A little bit. Look at Tanya. <laughs> My little donkey. Look at Tanya. My little donkey. My four euro hat and my one euro hat. Oh, awesome. When we were in a place called Mihaz, um, near Fuengarola, and I've wanted one of these flying jackets for years, guys, and I've never took the plunge and got one because they're not, they're not cheap. And uh, I found this one that fitted me just right, and I liked it because there was no, all of this fleece usually is too much inside, and it kind of buggers you up. But this one hasn't got that and it's just lovely. Uh, and uh, Tanya said, no, you haven't it. So she went back to the shop and uh, she got it me. She said, that's an early uh, birthday present for June. So uh, what's this video about? V this video, as I know, there's a lot of uh, ponies that go through a very defensive life and people don't kind of weigh up why, why, um, why things are happening the way they are. And they kind of put up with it. Uh, and really the, li the life of the pony could have been so much better. Now this one is uh, a pony like that. It's 15 years of age, lovely little colour um, pony. Lovely, apparently lovely to ride. When you, when you get on it, it rides nice. But on the ground, uh, ever since the owner had her, which was back uh, well, 14 years ago, and the, the pony's been real, real difficult on the ground, lunging at people, doesn't like to be loved on, doesn't like to be groomed, doesn't like to, there's just so much uh, aggression from, from this little pony and they've never got to the, to the bottom of it. And when I went to see this pony, uh, you know, I was introduced to her, I took one look at her and she kind of lunged out at me and they all like, that's, 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 what, that's what she does. She's, Terror, she turns her back on you in the stable, she'll lunch, she'll bite, you know, and that's how it's been. And they've tried all sorts. So this, uh, in this video, I will notice something very early on, uh, what I think has been one of the contributing factors to why this little pony has been so defensive um, and felt unsafe around people. So, um, you know, see how we get on with this pony. Uh, I was... Funny enough, well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you when you've watched it, uh, it's pretty much in real time. Uh, it was in front of quite a few people. So I was limited for time here, guys, but I feel like in the time I had, I really made a breakthrough. Uh, so. There you go. Okay. All right, so if you explain kind of what he's been like, because it's not been easy. Oh, he rears on me, uh, lunges at me, teeth come out at me. I just tries to kill me on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, I... I was introduced to him in the stable, guys, and I straight away said, yes, well, I'm in the demo, because he lunged forward, teeth, yeah, guys, when I saw him in the stable, he did lunge forward, uh, teeth bearing, he's quite, he's quite a handful, he, you know, he's quite mean with it, and then, how long have you had him for? 
uh, just under 16 years. 16 years. <laughs> uh, was it difficult when you got him? He was a yearling when I got him. And was he difficult then? Well, I got him off Traveller, so he was really bad. Okay, he come from a Traveller site and he was really, really bad. He hasn't got much better or he has got a bit better? A bit better, not much. So what what can't, what do you have problems with? Grooming. Okay, yeah, grooming. Grooming, just loving him. You can't love no, him? No. <laughs> okay, so he's, uh, how about riding him? Good as gold. Oh, guys, you can ride him. He hate he hate he hate he hate he hates you, but you can ride him. Yeah. Men and children. Okay. So I'll can I ask you to lead him on his other side? Lead him on his other side. Okay, stop, stop. Okay. What have you just noticed? This pony has probably gone all its life defending himself because he cannot cope with anyone in that other eye. And I noticed this in the stable. I didn't say anything. I noticed it. And this is the sort of thing that can happen. We're not taught, you know, to look at the whole horse and what's going on and what's causing particular things. So I know I brought him in here for one minute yesterday. I have to do that because I've got to make sure that you're all safe and that's, you know, and I'm safe in here. And I said to Mitchell, didn't I? Straight away, you've got a problem because of this side. He's not done. You could improve this and he could have a better life. So, okay, that's great. Well done. Thanks. Yeah, well done. Um, right, okay. So, just lead him round for me just a few more times and then uh, I'll do two little sessions a day with it in between my daily work. And it'll be a totally different pony. Problem I have, I go to different parts of the country and I have to short track everything. When you see me on these videos, if I was at home and I had the luxury of time, you wouldn't see it done that quick. It's an unfortunate thing that I have to try and save that pony, save the people, whatever, save the relationship. It's what you have to give. Go slower. Um, there's no luxury for time. What did I miss? Can you try and do me a favour, Mitch? Try and lun lunge him round to his on his other side. See if he'll lunge round on his other side. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, will he back away from you? Will he back away from you? I'll put it this way, no, walk around, walk with him and then stop. Just walk with him and then stop a couple of times. And again. Okay, so can you see there's some holes going on here? Okay, okay, right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, kiddo. Okay. So, let's have a look here. All right then. Now, what, what eye has he put me in, guys? Can you see? All right. But if we're not taught these things, not shown these things, we wouldn't even think about it, would we? This wouldn't be a factor, but maybe seeing something like this, you might come across ponies, horses in future, say, ah, all right, all right, what, well, yeah? Back up. I'm going to just bump here till those feet free off. Could you see them free off then, guys? I just looked at the feet, ignored about the head going up for now, and I just free, freed myself, released myself, mentally, physically, everything, just as those feet freed up. Okay? So, now when he, when he loses me, I'm going to just tap on this rope, and release him when he's with me because his attention and it happens more with the big Connemara in a minute that's going it there. I want him on me, so I'm there, he's with me. Okay, so I could sit here for an hour on a chair and do that, so he's with me. The only time I would let him think about other factors is if it was a spook, he was genuinely worried because I explained about the brain, he needs his flight. 
I need to um, allow him to know that he has his power of flight stop. Anyone noticing a change already? There's a change coming already. There's a change coming. I feel it. Tell him how good he is. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Don't worry about over there. There. Right. Okay. So, he will start, because I'm going to be his leader, I'm going to be what he hasn't had. And I don't mean this in a bad way. He hasn't had a parent. And I don't mean that, you know, he, I'm going to be a parent to him now. I'm going to be a parent. We're going to go through some rough little bits. Aren't we, mate? Aren't we, mate? This is all you wanted, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Right. Can you go forward with your feet? That's all I want is a forward step. All I want, stay with me. Right. Yes. So all I want, this is how you start lunging with any baby, any, is not to ask for lunge, 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 lunge. Just get, stops, feet forward. That's beautiful. So, that's wonderful. That's feeling good. He probably doesn't get led like this very often. I would think, watching you lead there, but we're all taught that, that's what we do. You, you're holding him here, aren't you? Stay with me. Look, see him licking chew there and think, so, do you know what? You'll do better not being right in his space because he's been able to rear out there and be difficult and you're moving all the time. He's moving you. It gives him less chance to move you. Um, if you can, but be aware, I'm aware of where he is. I know where he is. He's behind me, but I've got peripheral vision. I know where he is. Stop. Now back up. I'm going to bump on him here. You see when his feet go? See when his feet freed up? Right? A week of that, and I'll just look at his feet and he, he'll free them up. Can you just give me the Boeing stick, fella? Right. Now, I was asked earlier by quite a few people, actually, can't get your horses to move back. If they're used to pushing on people. Right then. So, I'm going to work through this. Yes. Look at where the eye is. Nice. So I'm going to bump there. Can you see how this is starting to work? Good. Yes. But look where the eye is, guys. It's massive. It's massive, this about the eye. He cannot cope with any kind of threat, any kind of unsureness in that other eye. It's been the, this has been probably not forward. That was unrequested forward motion. That's hot. Okay, look at me. Be with me. This is a big deal for him. And it's unfortunate that, that I've got to do it quickly. But you'll get more from me by doing these little breakthroughs. Um, so, does that make sense about the stick, guys? Some horses, they just will not back up no matter what you're doing. You're not, they're not going back. What can I do? Bump that stick and just keep, keep looking at the feet and stop bumping that stick on that rope when it's a little bit big for you. But, mate, hey, mate, nice colour, nice colour, I like that. It's a, his own is nice. Stop. Right, see what I, so, unrequested forward motion, absolute. No nonsense. Did you see that then, guys? He was coming through me then. As he put his third foot towards me, he's back. So I will welcome anything like that. I cannot go into it. He came into my bubble then as if I'm nothing, but all he did was check me out. He checked me out with that, okay? He checked me out. You can do it again. I don't care if you do, because we'll bump back again. If I'd have got my stick, I'd have probably done that a bit more, all right? So I would probably do that a thousand times so that his head would come down, not up, okay? Um,
Okay, okay. So if you if you rub on him, what would you usually do? Go to bite you, or you'll stamp the feet. So is that better than normal? Uh, definitely. But really. Okay, well, that's something then. Now what are you going to be like with disengaging? Now what I'm doing there, I'm doing the, the sidey likes first. Because it will go some way into his brain that, that I'm probably not going to kill him. You know, I'm probably going to be okay. So I'll do this side first. So, so I want to disengage him. Right, that was better than I thought it would be. I thought he would step around more than disengage. Tell him how good he is. Just a little touch on him. Tell him how good he is. Is he looking a little bit softer here? Is he looking a little bit softer? A little bit, yeah? Don't just say yeah, but he is. Yeah, that's okay. Right, so I'm gonna see whether I can lead him, lead to drive on this side now. Right, so I am leading him here. This is such a good exercise for horses, ponies that are not sure where they are on the totem pole and feel like they need to protect themselves. Okay, so in the herds, they'll either follow the stallion or the mare or they'll be driven by them. So this is leading. So I'm going to take this space now. to the feet, free off, feet free off, there, what did that just do for him, did nothing, I didn't, I didn't get personal, I didn't, I just got him, he said you're not driving me, you're not going to drive me, what did that do for you, that's a nice backup, no, no drive, there you go kid, right, one little spot there where his mind just for a second changed. The expression changed. So there's leading. No drive. All I need is this space. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're leading. Now I want this space here. Look at that. Uh, look at that. There you go. But this is on the one side, isn't it? Huh? Stop. What? Huh? Hey, mate. Hey, mate. So I'm being a parent here. Not accepting anything. He wants. This is what. I haven't come across a horse that doesn't want. To be able to just go, you you can leave me. All I wanted, and thanks for telling me that I wasn't supposed to do that. And that, that's it. Right, okay. So, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not getting flat back ears, like in the stable. That's pretty good. Um, so, okay, well, I feel like that's pretty good. So, we'll do the next side when I visit again. <laughs> this is this is gonna this is this this will be fun, right? Okay, so can you first of all accept me this side? Um, can you accept me this side? Hey, eh? not bad, not bad. That's all right. Okay, can you feet forward? That's all I want. Because it's too much to ask for too much more at the moment. Yeah, had feet forward. That's all I wanted was feet forward. Stop. Can you go feet forward? Yeah. Can we have feet forward? Yeah. Can we have disengaging? He's saying, I don't want you that side. 
I don't want you that side. I don't want to disengage that side. I don't trust you. I don't trust you enough. There. That was a dis not quite a nice disengage then. Stop. Tell him how good he is. Can you disengage? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Stop. Can you go feet forward? Yes, you can. You see this building now? This is building incredibly well. Stop. Good boy. They all like you now. Huh? Do you see that exhale? Did anyone see that then? That was a big deal for, for him. That was a big deal. A big deal. Right, can you go this way? Whoa. Amazing. The respect of his stops now, he's, t he's tuned into me better than I'm tuned into myself. He's stopping before I even think it now. Aren't you, mate? Now, there's a part of me really wants to go further and trot him round and everything. And I probably will a little bit in a minute, but can you see where I'd end in the real world? He is just completely, you know, I, I, I feel that would be where you would, you would say, okay, we'll do a bit more tomorrow. And you'd finish with some nice stuff. But, um, so, okay. Can you go forward? Oh, my life. Look at that. Can you disengage? Can you disengage? Can you let me stay this side? Right. Now we'll try and lower his head. Right. Now there. You got. Right. So there, we have a little rear come. Says, oh, I don't like what you're doing now. You start to. I get aggressive and I bite when you do these sort of things, or I'll rear and frighten you. So he's trying all those avenues. I, did, I just firmed up and got him to back off, got his feet to free off again. And now I'm going to go back. I'm not gonna... So there's two sides to what I'm doing. One, I'm very, very, very gentle with him. And the other is I'm as firm. So I'm as gentle as I can be, but I'm as firm as necessary. So I do as little as I can, but, as, but enough. Okay, so can we even think about dropping his head a little bit here? So, I'm just putting a little tiny bit of pressure underneath and a little tiny bit of a squeeze on his neck so he'll have two releases. And he's going to try and figure out how can I get rid of these weird pressures that's on me now. Because this could get to the stage where you'll go into stable and he'll drop his head straight away rather than trying to, did anyone see it? You didn't, did you? You didn't, did you? Um, there. Now, starting off on the side he doesn't like because he will not like me dropping it the other side at the moment. So he searched, so that took, took a little bit then, right? Took a little bit. His concern is coming off me more at the moment, isn't he, guys? He's starting to look at you lot, because I'm this side of him. So, head down, tell him how good he is. Look at that. Have you ever seen him like this? Just if I, on that. But you can see how the, the head now is starting to relax. So. Leading to driving on the opposite side. I'll do that in a minute. That's going to be a bit of fun. Um, so, okay. I'm finding that he's not so one-sided all of a sudden. Very, very much not as one-sided. I'm feeling it in him. 
You say that looks better on this side? Much better. Wow. Disengage. Disengage. There. Which side am I on? I'm on the other side, aren't I? Now, I'm going to show you a little something now. When I bring him on to me, he's going to probably put me in his left eye. Okay? When he does, I'm going to lunge him. I'll do something to him that's a little bit of work. What I'm doing at the moment, talking to you, I'm in his right eye, being soft. I'm not asking him to do much. Can you see that? This is how you can start to change the eye of your horse. You be more welcoming on the other eye. So I, in the real world now, I would probably sit on a chair here and just be, be a good guy on this side. Then when he put me in the other eye, I would work him. And I've had it where two days and I've had a horse completely, even go the other way too much. That you become, he'd rather have you in the other eye. Does that make sense what I've just said? You want to make it his idea. So, um, for the sake of the demonstration, if I bring him this way, and I'll come on to the, you're watching, which side is he going to put me in? Right. So, he's, he, he put me in that eye. So I'm going to work him. Disengage him this side. Lunge him. Boy. All right then. So now, I'm going to go on this side of him. And I'm going to do nothing. Do nothing. So you can imagine now if I'm here for 10 minutes, just rubbing on him, making him okay, telling him how good he is. You're a good guy, really, aren't you? You don't want to rear and do all of that stuff. Hey? Yeah. All right. Again. Bring him on to me. Lunge. So you notice any... Any quick movements I'm making, you notice what's happening? If I'm a little bit quick, it's kind of one of these horses where you not only have what you're doing, sometimes you quarter it, unless you've got to firm up with something and really get through to it. Come on. All right, now then, I'll go this side and do nothing. <clears throat> do nothing. All right. And that side, again, can you see the theory of this, guys? And it works on everyone. But as long as I put it into, come on, as long as I put it into something that's useful, like disengaging, tell him, tell him to go this way and do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let him have a little walk around if he wants. There's no mental, physical pressure from me at all. Licked and chewed. Eh, whatever. Found his own little stop. Didn't you? Disengage him. Again, not as bad. Anyone noticing any change there with the eye? And that would take, you know, like that would take me a couple of days, and I'd have him not wanting to put me in in, the, in his left eye. So, we might have a bit of rearing, I don't know. So he's leading quite nicely there. Now I'm going to take all this space up here. I want that space. That's all driving is. is. Now, 
that is not going to help you. I wouldn't release him till there. Can anyone see that point? That just for a second, his heart, the whole, the whole horse, the whole pony changes. It kind of like becomes okay. Not bothered. Not troubled. So that's okay. Now I want that space. Just like in the wild. That's good. That's Notice any change there? That's nice. That's really nice. That feels nice. That feels nice. Leading. Now I want all this. Driving. Driving with a good attitude. Oh, lovely. Oh. Lovely. Good man. Good man. Good man. You're not so difficult. Are you? That was better than I thought it would be, I'll be honest with you. That side, much better. Right, now, you might have trouble with this now. I'm going to ask him to go through a gap. This is a real, this is real difficult and really clears things up with a lot of horses. Stop. I haven't even got to tell him to stop now, have I? That's, so, I'm going to put a little line here. Unrequested what? Forward motion. I'm on it. Thanks for telling me, sir. So, I'm going to, I'm going to stand there. And I'm going to try not to move. I might have to move. And I'm going to send him through a gap. And I'm going to close up the gap a little bit. This is a big thing for him because he's not bothered about human space. Stay with me. Thank you. Um, so it'd be difficult for him. He may rear, he may get frightened. But if I can get where I can send him through this gap, disengage him, send him through, so he doesn't fear, fear, doesn't fear me, and he's okay with it, then that's really something. So, can he go forward? I might use my flag. There. Can I disengage him? All right. That's good. Don't really want you to. Good. Disengage. Nice. Disengage. Come this way with your bad eye. A little bit trotty there because you, you don't like me being there. You haven't kicked me, so that's good. There. Get you walking through if we can. That's nice. No. See how this eye still? He's giving me space. Love it. That side, guys, is fine. He said, Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yes. A little walk. A little walk through. Which eye you put me in? Oh. Good man. How's that? Right then. We're going to get him to side up now. We're going to get him to side up. Yeah, if you just whip my helmet away from there. For a minute. Good. You've got a cracker. You can get him sold now, can't we? Right then, so you might get really frightened of me being up here now. Now, when he's at hindquarters, go that way. I'm going to leave him. He goes, that's the wrong way. Pressure. There. Come on. Come this way. That's where you want to be. I'm not going to. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Right way. Right way. Come on. What are you doing up there? Touch him. Wrong way. Now this, all the time, is actually benefiting him because I'm moving his feet. He's not moving mine. I'm being able to quicken up without him pinning his ear. He almost found it then. Right way. Come on. There. Oh, that's it. 
I'll let you have that for start with. Hey. Now Darcy was a terrible for this. Charlotte? Darcy was bad for this, wasn't he? And yeah. um, I'm getting this done. <laughs> um, so now he's in that position, which is not far off. I'm letting him just... Uh, it'd be nice for the kids to get up on this and him pick them up. He'll feel proud of himself when he comes and picks them up, you see. But it's a process. Okay. So, um, okay. So, we go again. I always come in the wrong way, else you cheat them into it, you know? Hindquarters. No. Oh. Not far away. Not far away. I'm sensing the ears aren't pinning as much. You got serious spook guys and if you notice here look where she moves to her left out the way of her owner there and that's a, a lot of that is to do with what I'd built um, for respective space there and and she arranged herself she could have easily hurt her then um, but yeah that's interesting to see
So guys, I, I'm sure you would have learned something from that again. Now what, 40 minutes, uh, 40 minutes in front of a crowd and a huge, I felt a huge change in that little little pony mare. Uh, you know, the, the little pony led back to stable like a dream. Now it's worth noting, we stayed in a hotel up the road uh, and Nita stayed there because she was part of the demo. So following, following morning, we went back, get up to get all loaded up, sort everything out. And Mitchell, the yard manager, he came over and said, uh, you know, we, we said our goodbyes. I thanked him for uh, treating us really well. He said, well, he said, you're not gonna believe this. He said, I don't know if it's a coincidence, right? Don't know if it's a coincidence uh, or what we did yesterday or what I did yesterday in the demo, but the, li the little pony has been, had, had been a dream. Uh, no pinning ears in the stable, no showing it, uh, her bum and everything and a uh, fair play Mitchell said oh I'm going to take them all in the arena now and start backing them all up and uh, I said look I said I don't think it's coincidence but I will wear off when I leave town after a while they wear off and it's up to Mitchell his team the owner to to continue um getting to the feet I always say get to the feet because what did I do there it's all horse training's all made out to be so complicated and it's really not. The complicated bit is what the cream on the top where you put all these uh, cues together to get that high level dressage, western riding, whatever. That, 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 that's the bit where um, it, ta it takes a long time. Like if you had a graph, short term training, uh, the benefits of the training goes like that and then years, then it flattens off and gradually goes up. That that's the time consuming difficult bit. The bit that I show is the the where you get a gain really quickly and it's just get to the feet, get respect to space, be as kind as you can be, but be as firm as necessary with no anger involved at all and no pain. Pain is a terrible, terrible motivator of horses. And you know, guys, we've got all these different systems, we've got English trainers, we've got Western trainers, we've got natural horsemanship trainers. Just a the whole bunch of these trainers all doing different methods, all just the same thing. It's a, it kind of condenses no matter what system you're using or who you're following. It's just get to the feet, look at the feet, control the feet, make sure we move their feet and they don't move ours. That's what horses understand. We move their feet, they don't move ours, uh, and they respect our. They don't come into our bubble unless and they can separate it out, guys, we can invite them in, but if not, they don't come in on our space. And that's what changes so much, so much. So it's, it's made to be complicated, it's not. It's simple, but not. <laughs> if you know what I mean, guys. It is, the, the, the basic principles what I show, um, and I know people, people get it, people who come and spend a little bit of time, people who come to the demos, they kind of go, why, why, why haven't women told how simple that is? You know, I'll tell you why, guys, because I was just like anyone else, watching 30 years ago, trying to get better with my horse, and I figured out how I needed it to be explained to me, and that's what I'm trying to do, make it simple. And the more difficult bits are further on. Once you get good with your horse, respect from your horse, the relationship builds, then you can start doing the cream on the top. 
which is where you go into certain fields like your top dressage, your riding horses, whatever. So that's it, guys. I think I've talked enough there. I um, hope you learned something from that. And no matter what kind of place mentally and how lost your horses, ponies are, the stuff I'm showing helps, guys. If you can't get it done yourself and you need some help, get a professional to come and help you. Just to get you, get you going, uh, get you over that little, little hill. Uh, so that's the end of this video then, guys. Tanya's just told me I've got, I think it's three horses to go next week. Uh, and two of them are quite, well, I'll say very troubled from, from what she read to me. Uh, a very, a lot of regression and quite dangerous. So... You know, hopefully there'll be some good videos uh, from those, again, for people to learn from. That's why we do it. That's why we put the videos out. Uh, and also, Tanya said that she has had some messages from people saying, does Steve get enough downtime? Has he got, you know, because you, you do need other interests. A lot of horsemen that I've met, I've been to, I mean, there is the saying, any minute spent not with the horse is a minute waste in your life. Now, to some extent, we all, being horse people, you know, we, we could relate to that. But I think it is important, guys, to have downtime from horses and to get your mind on other things. So, yes, guys, don't worry about me. I mean, we've just been away. Whenever chance we get, we go away for a few days, uh, which we've just done. That was lovely. I've got my motorbikes that um, most evenings I'll go and play about with my motorbikes. I've got two bikes. I got Triumph and the girl. And I've got an Aprilla 660, so one's kind of a racy bike. Which I will do some track days on. Even though I'm getting on now and the timing's going, uh, I still like to do that, so I've got that. I've also got a, a little fish fishing boat uh, that I co-own, it's only a cheap boat, boat that I co-own with Dan, so we do a little bit of fishing on the boat. It's a lot. Oh, two! Again, that's a good little release from the horses, and uh, I like my, my sports as well. So don't worry about us guys, I've got plen plen plenty more to go, plenty more to give. Uh, and we're keeping ourselves healthy, so don't worry about that. So, yeah, that's it then. I'll be off. And if you can, like, share, comments are brilliant. They kind of boost the videos for us and keep us going. So, okay, guys, ciao for now. Happy trails. See you all hopefully next week. Bye.